Hello guys, one thing I want you to understand is if you are learning data science, maybe from an online platform or offline or on your own, the data which you are using is typically in the form of a CSV file or Excel file. So what you do, you write pd.read underscore CSV, read that file and use it, right? But tomorrow when you work in a real time data science project, the data might be sitting in different databases. For example, it can be a SQL DB, it can be Oracle database, it can be a big data system. So as a data scientist, you and me should know how to fetch the data from all these different databases. So in this video, I will take Python as a programming language, MySQL DB as a database and show you how you can connect to MySQL DB, fetch the data you need, write the result back to MySQL DB, drop the tables, all these things, right? Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. Let me walk you through a step by step process of connecting MySQL to Python and using the data sitting in MySQL in Python programming language. Let's start. So three things we will see here guys. First is how to fetch the data from the MySQL table. Second is how to insert our own data. Let's say you are running an ML model and you want to insert the model output in a table. So how do you do that? And third thing is how to drop the existing data in the table. We will see these three things here. The very first thing is how to create the connection. Okay. So what you will need is a library called mysql.connector. Okay. So here I will create the connection with mysql database. So in my last video, I had explained you step by step process of how to install mysql in your computer. So this is the mysql workbench that you can see on my screen now. Okay. So I had created a table also a student table in the database and fold DS, right? So I'm running this and I have four records here, ID, name, one, Aman, Kumar, David, Abhijit, like this, okay? So I will try to fetch this data in Python. So first I need to create the connection. How to create the connection? You just have to import this package and say mysql.connector.connect host is equal to localhost. Why localhost? Because the mysql is in my local computer. Otherwise you give the server IP. Username, root, password, 123456. I had told you how to set this in my last video. Database is equal to unfold DS. So unfold DS, this is optional basically, you can give in query also. Connect cursor is equal to cnx.cursor. So I'm opening the connection and I'm creating an object, cursor object. Now what is the use of this object guys? This object only will help you in running your queries. Okay, I will show you how. First, printing the cursor gives you see MySQL cursor, nothing executed yet, which means we have not executed any query. So let us execute some query. So I'm writing a string here. If you see select ID name one from unfold DS student table. Okay. I will take the same query guys and run in database just to show you how the result will look like the above query and this query is same because that call that table has just two columns. Okay. Let me run this query here. So you will see those four records only. Okay. So these four records I want to fetch. So I'm writing ID name one from unfold a student table. So above created cursor object, I'm saying cursor dot execute the query and then using a for loop. Now this cursor has all the values of that table. Okay. Using a for loop, I'm just printing the values. Okay. So ID name in cursor print ID name, very simple. And then you can close the connection cursor dot close CNX dot close done. So I'm able to see all those records that is there in the database in my Python. Now I can create a pandas data frame from it or I can store it in the way I want and use it. Okay. This is about the fetching data. Now what if I'm running a machine learning model, I have the format of my output and I want to create a table and SQL DB or my SQL DB and insert the data from here. So let us create a simple table here. I'm reopening the connection. This part, you know, since we had closed the connection in previous step. Then I'm saying cursor is equal to cnx dot cursor, same thing which we did in previous step. Now this is important cursor dot execute. What query we want to execute? Create table unfold ds my table 0919 name location. So I, I want to create a table with two variables name and location. Okay. So let me create this table with name my table 0919. Once this table is created. I have an insert query here if you see. Okay. So insert into unfold ds my table 0919 name location. What value we want to insert? I want to insert value Aman Bangalore. Okay. Cursor dot execute insert query value. Okay. So once I run this, Aman Bangalore will be inserted in this my table 0919. Okay. I will show you the values of that table as well. 
Before that, what if I want to insert multiple records in that table? So I am writing here a multiple insert query. Insert into my table 0919 name location, same format. Just that values I am giving in form of a list. Okay. And I am saying here cursor dot execute, but here I need to say cursor dot execute many. Okay. Multiple insert query and then values. Let me run this as well. Now, how many records I have inserted there, there guys? Aman, Adam, Priya, Siddhartha, Viji. So, five here and Aman here. So, I expect that table to have six records. Let us run a select star and see that. So, cursor is equal to cnx dot cursor. Okay. And then cursor dot execute. Since we have not closed the connection, so this step is optional basically. And then I am saying cursor dot execute select star from that table. Right. So, let us see that. This query is run. Now, what will happen here is if you say cursor dot fetch all. Now, there are two ways you can fetch the data from the cursor object. One way I showed you using this for loop, right? Second way, if you say cursor dot fetch all, that also will fetch all the records from your table. So, how many records we expect? Six records, right? Six records. Now, how to drop the, drop the table that we created? Just say cursor dot execute drop table my table 0919. So, it will drop the table that has been created in the previous step. How do we verify if the table is dropped? If you run select star from that table, it should throw error, right? So, I am expecting an error here. Let me run this. So, what it says unfold yes my table 0919 does not exist, which means this is an error. Okay. So, let me recreate that table just to demonstrate you. So, here I will recreate that table. I am just inserting one value for now. So, let me insert your name okay, and your location. Just two string I am passing to insert the values. right? Let me insert this. Now, when I run select star, what should be the output? The output should be your name and your location. Okay. So, as you can see here, your name and your location. So, I showed you with a simple example guys. How can you fetch the record and use in Python? How can you create table and insert records in that? And also if you have created some tables, then how can you drop? Now many things can be written inside this query. I have written some simple queries here, but you can try the join queries. You can try the sub queries. You can try various where conditions group by all aggregations. All those things will work in this way. You just have to write your query inside a string and pass that string. Okay. So I hope you understood this concept. Still, if you are practicing and if you have any doubts, write me in comment. I will upload this IPython notebook in as usual my Google Drive and you can download it. Let me know if you have any issues installing MySQL or you know exercising practicing the SQL queries and connecting to Python. I'll see you all in the next video with another interesting topic. Till then, stay safe and take care.